Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you some cool things you can do with Google Images to help you find more specific pictures uh, to, to make your presentations and stuff go a little bit easier. So the first thing we need to do is get to Google Images. A lot of us will sometimes just Google things um, and we'll click on images from there. The other way you could get to it, of course, is by from the Google homepage, you can click on images and then type for what you're looking for there. So let's say I want to include a picture of a dog in a presentation or on my Google document. There's a couple ways that you can filter your search a little bit so that you can get specifically what you want. You should click on tools right here. It'll always be here at the end of the bar. And you've got a bunch of different tools that you can use. Size, for example, if you want to make sure that you have a big picture of a dog because it's going to be the background image of your Google slide and you don't want it to be fuzzy and pixely, you want it to be nice and big and clear, you will click on size and then click on large. That way, it's filtering all of these images to only include large ones. So this cute one of the senior in the puppy lab here, if you look at it, the image itself is 1280 by 720. So if I were to copy this and then paste it in a Google slide, in fact, let's do that together. I'm going to copy my image. I'm going to put it in a Google slide. A second to load here. It's nice and big, right? So I don't have to worry about it being small and fuzzies. And then if I were to present this, uh, it would be nice and crystal clear. And I've done that by making sure that my image is a large image. So this is something that's really important that I recommend that you do. Now, let's say I want a dog clip art, right? I want to include a cute picture of a dog, or maybe actually let's change it. Let's make it a picture of a coffee cup. And I want it to be cute clip art. But I don't want there to be a white background, right? If I were to take this right here, copy this image, and paste it, that looks a bit silly having a big box there. What if I wanted one that had a transparent background, meaning one that doesn't have a background at all and I can kind of fit it seamlessly into my picture? Well, instead of trying to scroll through and find one, it doesn't need to be large the size, it could be any size, I can click on Tools, Color, and then click on Transparent. And this will only filter in results that are labeled as transparent, meaning the background is see-through. Okay, and you can tell that the background is see-through because it gave me all these black and white boxes. Be careful though, if you can see the black and white box in the preview, it's not really transparent. They're just trying to make it look like it is. So you want to click on one that has these gray and white boxes once you click on it. Once again, I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to paste it into my presentation and you can see that it's transparent. All right, and this is a good way of being able to filter your results so that you can build your presentations and your documents much faster. Instead of scrolling through tons and tons of images, and maybe you find one that's really cute, but it comes out fuzzy, now you can filter your results to make sure that you're looking for exactly what you need. Another way you can filter is by type. You can do clip arts, line drawings, or GIFs. Um, by the time it was posted, if you're looking for a more maybe recent news image, or even usage rights meaning um, it's allowed to be used or it's not allowed for commercial reuse. Particularly when we're teaching our kids about image use, we need to make sure that we're teaching them they can't just take anything off the internet and claim it as their own, but instead they should look at it. Does it have a, uh, a Creative Commons license, meaning that we're allowed to use it? Does it have a commercial license, meaning that we can use it for business or financial um, purposes? So I just wanted to show you a quick video about how to use tools to search more effectively than Google Images. One last thing before we go, if you ever noticed this um, photo here, you can do something called a reverse image search. So if I were to click on this camera button, I can search Google using a picture. So let me upload a picture from my computer. Gosh, let's see what's even on here. Let's use this map. Okay, I'm gonna upload a map that I've got on here. Do, 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 do. I've uploaded a map picture. It's identified what that picture is and it's found me results of where I can find it, what sites it's on, other sizes of that image, uh, things that are similar to it. So you can also do a reverse image search. It's a good way of also finding out where the kids have been getting their images from. Um, or if you can't see the image because it's pixely, you can always do a reverse image search that way. So again, you would use tools. You have all kinds of tools this way on images. where you can do it by size, by color, by type. Uh, and then of course you can also do a reverse image search. If you have any other questions about how to use tools to effectively find images through Google, please reach out to the NP Techies and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.